Hi everybody, it's March 15th, 2020, and I'm attaching my latest thoughts about the COVID-19 outbreak. It's an unsettling time right now, I know that. Um, there's uncertainty, none of us like uncertainty, none of us like the feeling of being out of control. And fear, of course, spreads more rapidly than the virus itself. But there are things that we can do right now to make a difference. We have to do them though, right now. And it centers around things you've heard about, hygiene, so washing your hands properly, coughing into the crook of your arm, and this social distancing that we're hearing about. And why is that so important? I mean, basically social distancing means trying to stay away from each other as much as possible. And it makes a difference because we're talking about trying to flatten the curve, another phrase you might've heard a lot about. And flattening the curve means in a typical epidemic, this is my fake chalkboard here, you have a spike in cases and at the top of that spike, there's a big overload of the system that's possible. So hospitals can get stressed, there may not be enough health professional, enough, enough equipment, and you can reach a breaking point with a healthcare system. But if you can delay the, the outbreak a little bit, if you can slow it, then instead of getting that big spike in cases, it can just, if you could just blunt it a little bit, and, and it may actually last a little longer, the outbreak, but you won't get that big spike, that big pressure on the system that can cause the system to start to crack. So is there any evidence that that works? Yes, in China, we, we've seen it working in South Korea, other places, we've seen it working. Now, um, if you're gonna do things like this, one of the themes is to try to protect the most vulnerable. And the most vulnerable are people who are elderly and people with underlying serious medical conditions. What's the definition of elderly? So many people have asked me that. And for me, it's always been somebody 10 to 15 years older than whatever age I happened to be at the time. But you have to actually look at the data. One data point is in Italy right now. And you see that when people reach age 70, there is a big spike in mortality. Now that doesn't mean that at 69 you're fine and 71 it suddenly goes up like that, but that's sort of a way of looking for guidance of what elderly means. Um, serious underlying medical conditions, things like high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, and of course a weakened immune system. Now people who are in this group, I think you have to seriously think about self-isolating. And I know that's tough because nobody wants to be isolated. And that brings up the whole issue of, and I worry about this, of people, especially the people who are elderly and alone, being socially isolated, which is not good for your health. So if ever there was a time now to pick up the phone and call people or use FaceTime if they can, um, if you're looking for a community effort to do something to help people who are in nursing homes or who are alone, this is a time to try to reach out to them. And another thing I do want to emphasize, it's such a natural instinct uh, to try to blame people when they get infected, right? To stigmatize them. But this is no time to do that. We have to all be together on this. This is something that we are going to get through together. Remember that about 80% of the cases of COVID-19 are relatively mild. So people can get through it, but we need to get through it medically together, but we also have to get through it emotionally together. We have to be kind to each other. It's gonna be a bumpy road, but we are going to get through this together.